Okay, um, this is how these bolts are holding the torque converter to the um, engine and to the block right here. So we gotta remove these. So you can see right there. And those bolts are 17s. We're using this socket here, 17s. Okay, so you basically gotta go in here and remove it. Again, these are pretty tight here, so I'll come back and I'll show you when it's removed. Okay, we also strongly recommend that you use a, a breaker bar. I was trying to use this one here, and it's, it's it was possible, but it doesn't give you that much leverage. Went ahead and got this one here, and it makes the the removal process way easier. So as you can see, it's right there. I loosened it up already. Pretty much, I can take it out with my fingers here. It's not that long of a bolt. I got it already. That's how it looks. It's a 17. Okay, and then what you do is. Once you get this one, you gotta go ahead and turn the crankcase, the crankshaft, I mean. And the way you could do it is this right here. This is a 25, let me check it out. I'm oh, sorry, a 27. So you go ahead and put that right there. And you're gonna have to turn it so you have access to it. So I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna try to have the camera point there so you can see how it looks. One right there. Got it? Okay, we're gonna see. You see it turning? See it turning? Okay. I'm looking for the next bolt. Okay. Right there. There it is. So you stop. You go ahead and take your 17 and you remove it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to remove remove all the bolts, and when I come back, um, they'll be all gone. Okay. okay, we went ahead and removed all the bolts. Uh, there's actually four bolts holding the uh, torque converter um, to the bell housing here. Um, we're done here. Let's go ahead and move here to the side. In order for the training to come out, you got to get the uh, oil lines out. There's one oil line here on the side. I'm using a three-fourths. You got to remove it. Okay, so again, I use the three quarts wrench here. I'm gonna screw this, and all you gotta do is pop it out. You see, it comes out. You pop it out like this. So then you remove this here. This this one has been taken off, so we're pretty clear on this side. We don't need to remove anything. Let's double check on the other side. There's another line that goes here, but we took it out already. Right there, and it goes to the uh, oil cooler to the front of the engine. I believe that was a 20, uh, 25? 20. 24, 25, I forget, but that's what, it, what you use. So now we're ready to go ahead and pull the um, transmission out of the, out of the engine. We just gotta remove one last bolt up here. That's a 12, and again, we left it here so the tranny wouldn't fall out or come off. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, and then once we are ready, we'll We'll show you how it looks when it's off. Okay, so basically we went ahead and removed all the bolts here. Uh, we removed the um, starter here, all the cooler lines, all the cables. And all we did is we just went ahead and, and of course we removed the four bolts holding the uh, torque converter. So now we just wiggled, it, wiggled the transmission and it came off just like that. You gotta be careful because this thing is heavy. I'm going to set it down a little bit and I'm going to show you up here how it looks. Okay, so if you come around here. Yeah. So see, these are the bolts. These are 17 bolts right here. That you got to go through the back. One, two, three, four. And then you got these right here all around the bell housing that you have to remove. Um, these up here are the hardest ones sometimes because you can't see them. Um, they're on top of the engine. And from below, you can't see them, so they're up here. And then also, most people miss the ones down here. But again, those are easy to get. Um, so that's the process to take it out. Um, 
and in most cases, like I said, if your transmission goes out, most people waste time and money trying to replace speed sensors and so forth and so on. I recommend, again, my recommendation, just get a good, a good used auto automatic transmission. And when you do get a, get a transmission, please make sure to replace the uh, gasket that sits right here. And also make sure you replace the oil filter and you, uh, and you put new transmission oil there. And if you do that, the transmission is going to go ahead and last you much longer. Um, okay? So, again, that's a 5HP24 transmission. And as always, feel free to leave any comments, feedback. Be sure to subscribe because uh, more videos will be uploaded shortly. And uh, check us out at facebook.com backslash Beamer Merchant. Okay, take it easy.